Did you know that everyone who has a valid Ontario health number is part of something bigger? It's called the DHDR, Digital Health Drug Repository. This is an electronic database that the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care uses to allow doctors, nurse practitioners, pharmacists and others to gain access to your publicly funded drugs. Access is also granted to your monitor drugs and any other pharmacy service that you might receive. Since the rollout, the DHDR also includes access to your vaccine information and all your testing information in real time. They have included this information to enable secure and easy access, not for you, but for authorized healthcare providers throughout the province of Ontario. Now, some might be okay with this, but for those of you who do not want to consent to their information being shared, there is an online form called Blocking Access to Your Drug and Pharmacy Service Information. Now, I encourage you to consult with your healthcare provider before filling out this form, as it will block all healthcare providers, even your family doctor, from accessing your information and any history they may need to make informed decisions about healthcare that you might need to receive. Revoking this consent will have no effect on your ability to receive monitored drugs and pharmacy services, nor will it affect your eligibility to receive publicly funded drugs. Blocking access does not have to be permanent, so any time in the future that you decide to change your mind and allow a healthcare provider access to any of your information, then you can do so by submitting an unblocking access form. You're also able to grant temporary access by writing for up to four hours. Now, this form alone will not stop access to your laboratory information. So in order to stop access to any of your lab results or lack of lab results, you need to call OLIS, which is the Ontario Laboratory Information System. They're at 1-800 2911405 and tell the representative you want to block access to your lab information. All you need is your health card and the health cards of your children if they are under age and the representative will block access again in real time while you're on the phone with them. I hope you found this information useful and again I do encourage you to speak to your healthcare professional before you make such decisions. Thanks for watching. I will see you all again real soon and God bless.